I'm recording this for the future. Today is November 2nd, 2023. I became self-employed in March of 2019. That's when I saw my first patient here. And I was practicing as a generalist. And I just had our baby August 7th. She is 12 weeks and awesome. And I'm figuring out how I'm going to go back to work. And so is my husband. And we have a lot of other life changes happening. And it's all good stuff. Here's what I wish I knew four and a half years ago when I became self-employed. Because I feel like I'm starting anew and starting fresh. And this is stuff that I wish I knew then that I know I need to implement now. The first thing I wish I knew was get over yourself. Go talk to people. Tell them what you do. Tell them who you help. They are waiting for you. You are going to be an answer to somebody's prayer, but only if you get out there and talk to yourself. I know it might be scary, and I know you're afraid. Have some courage. Show some bravery. Go out there and put yourself out there. That's the first thing. Number two, fail fast and fail forward. If it takes 100 no's to get to the first yes, then get those 100 no's as quickly as possible and learn from them along the way. Number three, start your podcast sooner and stay consistent with it. Number four, hire someone to manage said podcast uh, and make sure that you are being consistent with it and make sure that they can get it out on different platforms so that it's worth your while to continue to do um, and that you become an expert in the field that you're trying to become an expert in. Number five, learn your systems for follow-ups and automate them early. Revisit them often to fine-tune them, but don't build them out completely every single time. Um, I've used different um, CRMs, client relation management softwares, and I have used them all to like maybe 5% of what they're actually capable of as far as sending out emails, sending up appointment reminders, sending out follow-ups, sending out blog posts, sending out podcasts, sending out offers, whatever it is. Um, starting over again, I'm going to make sure that I have my system and that it is automatic. And if I have to revisit it because I typed something, I, there's a typo in one of the emails, that's the reason that I'm going to revisit it. I'm not going to revisit it to build out the entire thing again. Um, that was number five. Number six, say no more so that you can focus on your ideal person and you can serve and serve and serve them and serve them only. Refer to your network, everybody else who's not that person. So say no more. Number seven is build that network. Join the Rotary, sponsor different events around town. Um, be everywhere that my ideal person is. Number eight, uh, look at your expenses closely and prioritize what you're spending money on. I Jesus, I was spending uh, $250 on just my um, just my note-taking software for one person, which is like there's there's $40 options out there, which would have been much better for two and a half years or whatever, however long I used it for. Um, so I wish that I had looked at those expenses more closely and decided if it was worth that or if there's a better and more cost-effective way to spend that money. Uh, number nine, the number one rule in business is to stay in business. Okay, so it's do what you have to to stay in business and know that it's going to be okay. You're following the right systems that have been proven time, time and time again. You have coaches in place. Uh, you just have to stick with it. And number 10, and this is, I think, the most important probably goes along back to number one, you deserve to be successful. Look at what you want to do to the world. Look at the kind of world you want to make for your daughter to grow up in. You deserve to be successful. There's a ton of butts out there who don't necessarily deserve to be successful, who want to destroy the planet, who want to be selfish with their money, who want to be selfish with their time. Look at what you want to do. You want to give trees a marketing budget, for goodness sake. Like you want to, you want to get people healthy in nature. You want to get people off of opioids. You want to get people off of drugs. You want to get people out of a mindset where they have to rely on a healthcare system that wants to keep them sick. For goodness sake, you deserve to be successful. And that's it. Those are my top 10. So we'll go back through them real quick. 
Number one, get over yourself. Go talk to people, tell them who you help. Number two, fail fast and fail forward. Number three, start your podcast sooner and stay consistent with it. Number four, hire somebody to manage that podcast and your social media content. Number five, learn your systems and implement them and revisit them only to fine tune them. Number six, say no more. Focus on your ideal person and serve them and them only. Refer to your network for everybody else. Number seven, build that network. Number eight, look at your expenses closely. Decide what's most cost effective with what you want. Number nine, the number one rule in business is to stay in business. Do what you have to to stay awake and alive. And number 10, you deserve to be successful. That's my message to me or anybody else who's interested in listening. I appreciate you. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Keep getting better every day.